working. I, I, there was a bit of an intro. I'm chief design officer with LeMay in, in Canada, and I run the uh, LeMay Lab, our research and innovation wing, and I run our, our Toronto design studio, our Toronto office. I'm also a professor in practice at McGill University in Montreal. Uh, the work that I'm going to talk to, I'd like to thank Nina Boccia, who worked with, uh, and of course, the Dutch Design Week. Nina helped sort this out with, uh, with Sandra. And uh, the work that I'm going to show is actually work from a firm called Canon Design that I, that I led is, uh, globally as a, design, as a design leader for the firm. And this project comes from that. It really talks about, it's been a, really a series of really interesting presentations in terms of um, health, health in the environment. And I really wanted to talk about a big hospital project, but also that functioned in lots of different ways. Uh, Canada has a socialized healthcare system. There's lots of misunderstanding sometimes about how Canada operates compared to the US. It's much more like, uh, it's much more like Northern Europe. So healthcare buildings sometimes in North America are seen as a design challenge. They have a, they have a, they have a kind of, mandate around delivery and performance but design excellence is not generally a mandate just because of the way our culture works with the, the ppp the public private partnership way in which we in which we deliver most of our healthcare projects this project is uh, one that's just for being finished now in montreal it really is a sort of patient centered and city centered uh, it really talks what i wanted to talk about is is its responsibility beyond healthcare and patient delivery it, it has lots of complexities there. It's a $2 billion hospital, so it's doing lots of things. It's bringing three healthcare systems together. It's, it's bringing 800 beds or 772 beds instead of a, a few. So it's, it's doing many, many different things. But what I thought was really interesting about it is what it's doing for the city. This notion that, uh, that Montreal has gone through, I think as Chris mentioned with Toronto, the mid-century infrastructural positions around this, this sort of view from the road mentality, this notion that we're car-centric. Montreal really pushed itself. It sort of created this fissure, this crevasse through the city, which became a, 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 a highway that both moved up and down in the city and really became a kind of canyon that, that separated neighborhoods and separated really important neighborhoods from each other historically. And then they, those became both tunnels and bridges that sort of separated uh, in this case, uh, the administration city. So the town hall, the town hall, the city hall, from the, some of the more um, intensified moments within, within the city. This sort of 60s uh, position grew into a series of then marginalized neighborhoods with, uh, around, around this, this fissure that are gradually being repaired. And this hospital is one of the last projects that does that. Oh, so the image on the left is, the, um, is the, the crevasse, the sort of canyon that was, dis, that was dis, uh, sort of uh, dug through the city of the, of the center of Montreal. The image on the right is one of the tunnels, a recent photograph of the tunnel that exists underneath here. So there's a real sort of uh, grenza, a real border between the, the sort of notion of, uh, of, these, of these neighborhoods. On, if you look at the image on the right is the downtown and on the left is what is now the administrative city. This is a 60s photograph. Hospital? So, no. um, so Ooh, this wow. is... So this is the big hospital, two city blocks. It does a, a few, do you see my cursor too? Uh, so this is this notion of, this, of the place in the city. This is the auditorium building. It's the public realm. It's a teaching hospital, a research and teaching hospital. So this is the teaching component. And this really does give back to the neighborhood in a certain way, it gives public spaces. It links the infrastructure of the, uh, of the, of the metro system. It links a, a series of large parks, one of which we're also working on just around the corner. Um, it does many, many things. And then this building, if you look to the right, this, this notion of this object building that invites you into the project, gives you the public realm. This is a Saint-Denis, and if you've been to Montreal, it's a very, very important street in Montreal. I'd say it's one of the most important streets in Canada. It's absolutely a dynamic, very long street. It's embedded in our cultural history with, uh, uh, with uh, literature and film. So focusing on that, I wanted to talk about where it is now and how this thing is landing. So this is a construction photograph from a couple of weeks ago where this thing is emerging. This notion that we're rebuilding this public space, it's, it's linked very, very clearly with the teaching hospital, with the entrance, with the, with the uh, public engagement of the project. And then you move into this public realm and move through. So this, this what was once a hermetically sealed block and, 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 and if it was a hospital in a, in a typical PPP sense would continue to be a hermetically sealed block is now opened up and the architecture is, is, 
is redefining that that moment. And then the last slide I really wanted to talk about again, because it's supposed to be pretty quick, was this notion of experience. Mm -hmm. This is the passerelle, the, the bridge that links two of the buildings of the hospital. It really is functioning as a, a kind of manifestation of the of public space. It's it's seen as a as a as a as a piece of, of um, urban art in that sense. In fact, it was manifested to actually function that way. But it's also part of the material-based identity. This thing is clearly viewed from City Hall, just linear down, down the street. And it really is a kind of notion that these big public institutional projects can give back to the city and back to the city experience. Mm -hmm.